guys, happy Baby Name Monday. Welcome on round, my name is SJ. I absolutely love baby names and today I have a really cool name list for you. It is classic boy names that will never go out of style because I do love to wander off the familiar path of the name lists <laughs> here on my YouTube channel and come up with some more unique and rare names because I always think I want to. So many of you are obviously all naming babies or you love names. I don't want to repeat names back that you can see on any old list. But I also know that particularly I think for boys, but let me know what you think. I think particularly for boys, we want something that's quite classic and timeless, but still we don't want something that's like in the top 50. So we might not want a Noah, an Oliver or a George, but we want something that has the same sort of style. That's not going to stand out too much. It needs to be classic. And this is 100% where my husband was at. So I've got a list here that a lot of these were on our boy name list. So we've got Frederick and Finn. Frederick goes by Freddy or Fred, finished as Finn. Um, Finn Barnaby Boo. Um, so they kind of fell into this camp as well. So I'm really on board with this list. I will get on with it now. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're brand new and you're naming a baby, then this community is loveliest one on YouTube. We have so many people who are looking for baby names and who are great at naming babies and we just merge the two things together so you'll always find some great names here. And there's also the Instagram which is Baby Name Envy and the podcast. There's 20 episodes of the Baby Name Envy podcast available where we're answering your real life name dilemmas. It's also packed full of name info as well. So you can check that out and we will be back with new episodes. So the most popular name on this list only ranks at number 84 in the UK and it's the name Jasper. I'm quite surprised it's so low down, but it's totally worked within this list, exactly the vibe I was going for in this list. We really liked it as well, but we really liked Casper actually. And the name translates, so Casper, Jasper, and even Gasper, they're all names of one of the three wise men. So the name means treasurer, so it's really good for a Christmas baby as well, Jasper. I really, really like it. It feels kind of playful and youthful, as well as having enough gravitas sort of as you grow up, which I think is what we're after with this type of a name list. It's also a gemstone, so it's kind of green in colour. If you think of names in colours, let me know. Um, but yeah, it's a green gemstone as well, so another really lovely reason to like the name Jasper. At number 88 in the UK is the name Felix. So again, this was on our list. We had two F names. F seems totally boy and cute. But I really love the name Felix. I love the name meaning of it because it means lucky or happy. And Felicity actually is one of our top rising girl names and Felix, they kind of work together, don't they? Really nice, we love F names. Um, I just think Felix is really, really gorgeous. It's never gonna go out of style. Again, it's got the same kind of vibe as Jasper where it's quite playful and youthful, but you can imagine meeting a guy who's like 35 called Felix and it feels handsome to me. The next name is the name Alfred. So I felt like it is a bit of vintage and I was trying not to go too vintage on this. It's at number 97 in the UK, but I feel like it's one of those outsiders, whereas we know that like Wilfred and Frederick and Freddie, they're all kind of having their day at the top of the charts, even Albert, um, Alfie, all of those. So I feel like Alfred could be a good one if we're looking for traditional, but not overused. Um, it's a really lovely name. There's Alfred Nobel, which is what the Nobel Prize winner is after. Obviously I think of Batman, <laughs> but I think of Alfred, but you have got Freddie then as the nickname as well, Alfred Hitchcock. So it's kind of got a really cool vintage throwback thing, but then it could be Fred or Freddie as well. So have a think about whether or not you think Alfred fits on this list. Nathan is only at number 104 in the UK. And I'm smiling because it means um, gift of God. And I'm in love with this voice. So by the by, when I was younger, called Nathan, who I thought was a gift from God, he obviously thought it as well. <laughs> but I just really like the name. I think it's never gone out of style. I think it's, again, I looked it up and it had a lot of positive reaction on forums that people also saw it as quite a strong name. You know, people are give and take on the nickname Nate. I like Nate as a nickname again. I think it's kind of a good one for your sort of 20s and you're looking for a name that kind of grows with somebody. But Nathan, it's not that used, so it's still worth a second glance if you're really in this kind of sweet spot of looking for a cool name that's not overused. The next one had tons of love on the forum, so it's the name Dominic, which is at number 111. Dominic, I've never met a Dominic, have you? I do know a few older guys saying that called Dominic. Dom, or I've heard of some guys called Dom. Um, so obviously they like the nickname. Um, but Dominic came up, it was funny, I was reading on the forum and somebody was like, this name is so strong and sexy. <laughs> it's like she's obviously got, uh, not got, she's got Nathan in her life as well. 
<laughs> but he's called Dominic. Um, but I really like it. It's lots of Saint Dominic, Saint Dominic. That's probably why we hear it a lot. A school called Saint Dominic's and stuff. And originally it was a name for somebody who was born on a Sunday. Um, which is interesting as well, so if you have a Sunday baby. Um, but Dominic, yeah, again, not one to be overlooked. Patrick is at number 120. Uh, we did, Henrik really liked the name Patrick, it's quite a Scandinavian name, we're over in Sweden right now. Um, and, but obviously it's Irish as well, mainly Irish, and I've got Irish roots, so it would have been quite good for us actually, saying it out loud. Um, but we've got a really close friend called Patrick, um, and so I really like it. It does, Pat is quite a cute nickname, you can even go Paddy, I knew a Patrick who was, went by Paddy, uh, which was quite cool. There's obviously St. Patrick's Day, which is um, in March. Um, so yeah, Patrick is a great name, and you guys suggested it, I did ask for some suggestions, and Patrick came up a lot. Um, I do always think of it as well as the American psycho character. I see it as quite like a kind of a strong and confident guy. <laughs> Not a psycho, like American psycho, don't get me wrong, but I love the name. But yeah, Patrick, a really cool, long-lasting, solid boy name that's only 120. Isn't that unreal? The next name is named Jamie, which is at 122. So it's a bit more cheeky chappy than the other ones I've chosen, but I like it. It's so... Such a cute, playful name. If we're not after something too serious, my friend Kerry Welp does. She's got Rory and Jamie, and I always think they sound really cute together because they're sort of they're playful and nice, but also very traditional. So it's not a James, which is so used. Jamie is gender neutral as well, so that might make you like it. But I just think it sounds really, really gorgeous. Um, it's just a really nice, lovely name. And the next name is actually Owen. At 124, which feels a bit different, doesn't it? Imagine Jamie and Owen, I think they actually stand really nice next to each other. That means young warrior. So Owen is a really strong name, doesn't get used a lot. We think of Owen Wilson, the actor Owen. So cool, isn't it? Just a very simple, non-pretentious name that's got a little spark to it, with the beginning with the O is so popular. I'm surprised that Owen is so low down. Next up is the name Vincent at number 136, all the way down there, which is a Roman name, um, meaning to conquer. So again, quite strong, Vincent. Vinny, I know a lot of you have on your name list, Vinny. Um, so maybe it's more, maybe Vinny's higher up, actually, I didn't double check that. Um, but I love the name Vincent, Vincent van Gogh as well as it's quite artistic. It feels quite French. Vinny sounds very Italian, kind of gangsterish. It's got a lot of different vibes going for it, Vincent. Um, but just one of those that's sort of lurking down the bottom of the charts that I think somebody on here might love. The next name is Robin. Robin's only at number 143. And again, you've got the Robin Hood vibes. And I think with the bird vibes as well, with Wren being so popular, it's like being more drawn towards unusual. And Robin's becoming more unusual than Wren <laughs> these days. I really like it. It's getting quite Christmassy, quite Christmas vibes. If you're pregnant now, you might be having a Christmas baby. Um, but I really like it. I am obsessed with um, Shag Married Me, the podcast. And I reckon that Rosie Ramsey and Chris Ramsey could bring back Robin single-handedly because that little boy's Robin and you hear it so much makes you really like it. Miles is next up. Miles, we had this on our list, we really liked it. It's at 147 and it means soldier. Um, and Finn actually means little soldier as well. It's weird that boy names always mean that, which is a bit irritating, but that's just history. <laughs> um, Miles, I really like it. It gets jazz vibes as well. It's just a cool name. Love the S ending, makes it really on trend, but it's only down at 147. So you'd be getting a really unique name Everyone knows it, one syllable, great spot. Um, Seth as well, all these are one syllable, is at 153. I'm a bit on the campaign for Seth. I've mentioned it a few times. I just really like it. It means appointed, but I feel like, I don't know if it's more American, but I just experience it as quite nature -y. Maybe I think of it as like sage, but in my head, Seth is just a really gentle, nature -y type of name, like a real sort of outdoorsy type of gentle bloke. <laughs> But I always picture up people when I have a name in my head. And I think Seth, really cute when they're little, but really cool teen name and older. So I've always liked it for that reason. And when I've had it on my list before. Joel is at number 163, a rare Hebrew name, Joel. Um, so funny that it's so far down. Joel was one of King David's mighty men. Um, if we're looking for rare biblical and you like a Noah, Joel is so perfect for you. We've got a nephew called Joel and I love it. Um, it could be Joe as a nickname, which is really nice. Victor, I know very similar to Vincent, but I found it at number 234 and had to put it on. Also means winner, but it's got so many literary 
um, associations as well. Obviously, Victor Crumb from Harry Potter. Um, but most people think of Victor Hugo as well. He wrote The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Victor, just, I really like it. And we know a little Victor. And just always stands out in the playground or the park. But everyone immediately knows it. And I think that's kind of the point of this list. Is to get something that's perfect like that. Reese is at 240 in the charts. It means enthusiasm, which I didn't know. It's a Welsh name. Again, we've all heard of it. I think it travels well. It is gender neutral. It's kind of been moved to also be a feminine name, but spelt like this the traditional way. Very, very masculine, very Welsh. Love the name, meaning enthusiasm. I had no idea. For me, it's a bit cheeky, like a Jack, but Reese is so much more unique. Adrian is at number 246 in the charts. And having a bit of its moment, again, I looked at, there were six popes named Adrian. It's a very European name, used a lot in France, used a lot here in Scandinavia. Lots of love on forums. I don't know if any of you have got kids, I think it's because of Ladybird and Cat Noir. Malef, what's it called? Miraculous. And he's called Adrian. And it's really put it in my head as a name that I really like. Um, that's just languishing at 246. Go with it. I even like Aid. I really do. I think it's quite cool. Barnaby I've put on at number 253 is Barnaby. It's my son's middle name. It means young warrior, which I didn't know. And it's come along from Barnabas, which was a New Testament biblical name. Barnabas is a bit more harder to say. Barnaby I love. And whenever I hear someone's got the first name Barnaby, I'm a little bit gel. But Henrik would not have gone with Barnaby in the first name. So we've got Finn, Barnaby, then Boo, because Boo's his granddad's name. Um, but I love it. I think definitely traditional, cool. Barney is a cute nickname. Yeah, should have used it. I'm jealous of that one. What about Julian? It's only number 268 in the charts. It's an interesting one. John Lennon's son is called Julian and Hey Jude was actually written about him. So I thought that's quite a cool thing if you're like on the fence with it. Jules, kind of a kind of feminine nickname, but Jude, kind of cool. Julian, again, it's just one of those nice solid ones a bit like a jasper isn't it jasper and a julian they do sound a little bit posh do they ever class i don't know but julius caesar comes from julius julius caesar and all of those julian not to be overlooked though i like it i love elnet sounds and the last one i've got which is ranked at 336 it's named timothy so I really like it. In my NCT class, somebody had a Timothy. Maybe she was in my yoga class, actually. Really important detail. 73% um, of people voted Timothy as a natural name. So you can sort of look at lots of different word clouds. And the highest one that came up for Timothy was natural, which I thought was really nice. It is very long, so you have to like Tim as well if we're going to go with Timothy. But it's just one of those sweet names. It kind of gets a little bit lost down the bottom of the chart. So those are my underused classic boy names i hope you enjoyed them hit subscribe for the girl list which is coming up very soon hot on the heels of this one let me know any more names you'd add to this list below find us every day on instagram and i will see you nastabeka next week bye guys